Hey guys, Eric back. I haven't been on in a while, but it's been busy traveling around, doing some stuff um, between reptiles and work trips. So, um, got a new part on Rotofab intake. You guys have seen plenty of these probably by now. So, just gonna do a little unboxing of it. And also, a uh, not your traditional install because I'm not gonna follow the instructions. I'm just gonna end up pretty much putting it all together. Since you got the four pins, and with that, I'm just gonna end up uh, dropping it, pull the other one out, remove the mask, and um, the part to the throttle body, and just reconnect everything the same way. So, I'm just gonna end up doing that, pulling it out, calling it a day like that, and then hopefully, actually, in a couple weeks. I'm gonna end up getting the car dynoed with the original intake back in at the elevation that I'm currently at um, from my previous dyno, just to see what the difference is from this elevation versus um, Florida's elevation. That uh, I think with DA it was about 2,000. Here I'm naturally at 4,000, so DA around this time of year, I think it's about 3,000, but I'll be in Texas, so it's about 3,500. I would have to look into how much the DA is uh, for that day, and I'll do a video update for that. So, um, with that being said, um, I'm gonna do the original intake, and I'll just throw it in there that day, and then after a couple pulls, I'll end up removing it, and then throwing this one in. All of these, is just connecting it to the throttle body, connecting the math, and then just calling it a day. See what the numbers change from, from there, and should be good, so. This is pretty well packaged. You got all your hoses, all your clamps, and then the hardware. Um, connection pieces, all nicely packaged. The box. So, like I was saying, just drops right in. Get your prongs. Yep, right there, right there. Another one. You know there's three of the original intake, so yeah, there's three. That boy should just drop right in. Intake right there. Nicely packaged, nice material. Elbow, really good package. Um, other thing, I also went and did the uh, sound tube delete, so we'll also have that in there. Connection to the mat. <laughs> Nonsense. Plug for the sound tube, sticker, sound tube, perfect. Instructions. This all looks like it's set up, and I'll just end up cutting to me pretty much pre installing this instead of going to the car. But yeah, everything looks pretty good. Plastic pieces to connect to here, and this will connect inside the box. Also, dry filter and sound too fluid, so I know I said that before, but I didn't say it was okay. Smells like fresh paint. That's so weird. Good, nice. Also has the clamp attached to that one too. Rest of the hardware, perfect. All right, cool. Let's Got your box, got the map sensor, got a, um, whatever you want to call this plate, screw plate, washer, the gas washer. I think that's in one way. Um, just mark with the top, you want the top facing inside, on the holes lined up.
holes line up. You end up using the screws that come in this packet. Really self-explanatory. Um, the two smaller screws are for your mass sensor. I won't be doing that just yet. I'm just doing it makeshift and getting it set in so I can just throw it in. I'll come back through later. Make sure everything's snug down. Not worried about that just yet. And this guy in here. Sign that down later. Two. Everything's connected. This guy, better end will go attached there. The smaller end will attach to the throttle body. So everything will hitch. That'll go on there like that. once it's on the car. That fitting will go on the bottom and that will attach the other part of the car. So, there's that. And next thing I'll show you is... So... Alright, I'm going to do this uh, unorthodox way, I guess. Since I'm not going to follow the instruction, I'm just going to do it the way I was thinking about doing it. Um, I'm going to end up removing this guy, the back safety clip that's in the back. I already undid it. So then you just pop it off once you get a hold of it. Need to remove that part of it. So now it's just dangling. I'll unscrew that in a minute. Um, loosen this guy down. Down. Loosen it up. I guess is the better way to say it. This guy right here. I'll pull this off in a minute. Let's see. Once I get it off completely, and then loosen this part up. And the big thing is. T45 pieces down in here. There's one there, and one right here. And that's to remove the sound tube. Now it's free, free hanging, and if this goes loose, I can just pull it right off.
straight out. Pulling her out. I'm hitting up this so the power drill just cut and this size is a 9 30 seconds. Leave that part off for now. Get this side in. back on the same way it went in. Once you do it, it just clips in. So there's that. Alright, first start up with the new intake. X band. K band. K A band. Laser. GPS connected. Let's see how she does. obviously just yet but still learning it feels good it doesn't feel like anything different just quite um, no tune obviously just third on but can't really tell uh, sound difference just yet it's kind of windy out so. user mark ahead seeing how, how much um, gains just off an intake happens uh, 
the next couple weeks, hopefully should be able to get a dyno, and I'll actually throw in the uh, original intake first, so I have all the original stuff. I said that before, but um, just trying to see what where I'm located currently, where I'll be always driving around, what my power levels are. Um, I'll put in DA, weather, all that, um, so you have actual numbers, and then one of the last couple ahead. pulls that I end up doing, I'll end up throwing this intake back in to see what increase we got. But um, have the original dyno from in Florida, but obviously that's a big difference in elevation from here. So I want to try to see what it would be from here. And so there's that, and talk to you guys later. Have some more videos for you hopefully soon. All right, bye guys.